This video is designed to talk you through the formation of caves, arches, stacks and stumps. I'm going to do this through a series of diagrams. On the screen you can see diagram 1. Um, this brown area represents a headland which is sticking out in the sea in this direction here. The blue lines obviously represent the sea and this sea uh, flows around the headland on both sides. Basically between the high and low water marks the sea attacks the headland from both sides and starts to cause erosion. The headland uh, is eroded uh, firstly in a number of areas where the sea finds some weaknesses. So there may be short cracks that form in a number of different locations. Some of these cracks may join together and this would lead to the formation of a cave. In this example the cave is only on one side of the headland. However, if there was a second cave on the other side of the headland, if those two caves join together then obviously they would develop into an arch which we can see in this diagram here. So here um, this represents an arch. Um, if you were looking at this in real life you would be able to go through the arch, come out the other side of the headland like so. So you can travel all the way, all the way through it. The next thing that's important is this area here. Um, basically this area of the headland is what we would term unsupported. Okay. So the weight of this area in red is unsupported due to the arch which is formed below. So over time eventually the red box will collapse and fall into the sea. That forms um, uh, what we would call um, a stack. So in this example here on the diagram that we can see the arch has developed a little bit further and obviously what would happen is this part of the arch uh, would collapse. That leaves a stack and the headland. The stack is completely separate from the headland and is basically a, a pillar of rock that stands quite tall. The base of the stack is particularly susceptible to erosion and quite often the base of the stack will be much thinner than the rest of the stack. What eventually happens then over time is that as the base of the stack starts to get thinner then over time the whole stack itself will collapse into the sea. We're then left with what we term a stump. The stump may only be visible at low water um, and at high tide it could well be uh, not visible from the top of the headland here. If we have a little look at this picture you can see clearly that we have um, in this area here we have a stack. Okay. Um, if we continue um, to look at the stack, you can see that erosion uh, is occurring in a number of areas around the base and that eventually this area here will collapse and fall into the sea forming our stump. If we step back in time, obviously the stack itself was at one stage an arch which was probably attached to the headland like so. The brown area that forms the arch obviously collapsed because it was unsupported from below creating the stack. Again if we take this a stage further as we move back in time you can see that the headland obviously had two caves on either side and you could move in between the two caves like so. If we go back another stage, the headland was completely joined like so.